This is the key English test. Paper two, listening. Test number one. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What will they eat for dinner this evening? What do you want for dinner this evening, Maria? We could have pizza or chicken. Hmm. What about fish? I had a pizza last night. Okay, that's easy to cook. Good. Now listen again. What do you want for dinner this evening, Maria? We could have pizza or chicken. Hmm. What about fish? I had a pizza last night. Okay, that's easy to cook. Good. Two. What time is it? Have you got the right time? I think my watch is wrong. Ah.、Uh, It's half past two. Ah, my watch says twenty past. Well, it's ten minutes slow then. Now listen again. Have you got the right time? I think my watch is wrong. Ah,、uh, it's half past two. Ah, my watch says twenty past. Well, it's ten minutes slow then. Three. What's Michelle going to read? Can I read your newspaper, Michelle? Didn't you bring a book with you? Yes, but it's not very interesting. Oh, here you are. I'll read this letter from John. Now listen again. Can I read your newspaper, Michelle? Didn't you bring a book with you? Yes, but it's not very interesting. Oh, here you are. I'll read this letter from John. Four. How much did the tickets cost? Oh, hi. Did you have a good time at the theatre last night? Well, the play was excellent, but the tickets cost ninety dollars each. That's not too bad if the play was good. No, perhaps you're right. Now listen again. Oh, hi! Did you have a good time at the theater last night? Well, the play was excellent, but the tickets cost ninety dollars each. That's not too bad if the play was good. No, perhaps you're right. Five. Where is the chemist's? Excuse me, can you tell me where the chemist's is, please? Hmm, just a moment. Oh yes, 
It's past the post office, next to a big supermarket. Is it far from here? No, just two minutes walk. Now listen again. Excuse me, can you tell me where the chemist's is, please? Hmm, just a moment. Oh yes, it's past the post office, next to a big supermarket. Is it far from here? No, just two minutes walk. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Kate telling Emma about her family. Where is each person going today? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Kate. What about a game of tennis sometime? I'd like to, Emma, but not today. I'm really busy. What are you doing? Sam's got toothache, so I'm going to take him to the dentist this morning. Oh dear. And then Mother's going to the hairdresser this afternoon, and I said I would drive her home afterwards. Then after school, Tanya wants me to help her buy some new shoes. She doesn't like shopping alone. My daughter doesn't either. You're going to the concert this evening, aren't you? I'm afraid not. But Len loves classical music, so he'll go. Oh, good. By the way, has Tom started driving yet? He's having his first lesson today. He's going to the driving school at lunchtime. He's really excited about it. I'm sure he is. How's your father? Does he still play golf? No, not any more. But he started learning Spanish. Actually, he's got a class this evening. Good for him. Well, perhaps we can go to the tennis club tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Now listen again. Hi, Kate. What about a game of tennis sometime? I'd like to, Emma, but not today. I'm really busy. What are you doing? Sam's got toothache, so I'm going to take him to the dentist this morning. Oh dear. And then Mother's going to the hairdresser this afternoon, and I said I would drive her home afterwards. Then after school, Tanya wants me to help her buy some new shoes. She doesn't like shopping alone. My daughter doesn't either. You're going to the concert this evening, aren't you? I'm afraid not. But Len loves classical music, so he'll go. Oh, good. By the way, has Tom started driving yet? He's having his first lesson today. He's going to the driving school at lunchtime. He's really excited about it. I'm sure he is. How's your father? Does he still play golf? No, not any more. But he started learning Spanish. Actually, he's got a class this evening. Good for him. Well, perhaps we can go to the tennis club tomorrow. Yes. Okay. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to a woman talking to a policeman. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds.
Now listen to the conversation. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, I've lost my bag. Oh, I am sorry. Now, where did you lose it? In the town centre. I had it when I got off the bus. Uh, was there much money in the bag? No, there wasn't. I usually have forty or fifty pounds in it, but today I think there was only about twenty.、Uh, what else was in the bag? Just my gloves. I left my credit card and driving license at home. Was the bag expensive? No, it was an old one. It wasn't big enough, really. Now, what time did you lose it? Well, I left home about nine thirty, and the bus takes half an hour, so I lost it about ten o'clock. Right. Well, I'll phone you tomorrow to tell you if we find it. Are you at home in the afternoon? Sorry, I'm going out until the evening. Could you phone before ten in the morning? Certainly, I'll call then. Now, what's your number? It's O three six two. Now listen again. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, I've lost my bag. Oh, I am sorry. Now, where did you lose it? In the town centre. I had it when I got off the bus. Was there much money in the bag? No, there wasn't. I usually have forty or fifty pounds in it, but today I think there was only about twenty.、Uh, what else was in the bag? Just my gloves. I left my credit card and driving license at home. Was the bag expensive? No, it was an old one. It wasn't big enough, really. Now, what time did you lose it? Well, I left home about nine thirty, and the bus takes half an hour, so I lost it about ten o'clock. Right. Well, I'll phone you tomorrow to tell you if we find it. Are you at home in the afternoon? Sorry, I'm going out until the evening. Could you phone before ten in the morning? Certainly. I'll call then. No. What's your number? It's O three six two. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a man speaking on the telephone. He wants to speak to Miss Dixon, but she's not there. Listen, and complete questions sixteen to twenty. You will hear the conversation twice. Browns Builders. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to speak to Miss Dixon, please. I'm afraid she's not in the office at the moment. Can you give her a message for me? Yes, certainly. Who's calling, please? My name is Hyde. How do you spell that, please? That's H Y D E. Right, Mr. Hyde. Could you tell her that the time of the meeting has changed? Is that the meeting about the new houses? No, about the new factory. I see. And when is it? It's on Wednesday, at half past eleven. Does Miss Dixon know where the meeting is? I think so. It's in our main office. Ask her to go to room twenty-one. Right. I'll tell her. And could you ask her to bring the photographs with her? Which photos do you mean? She'll know which ones. They're very important. Don't worry, I'll tell her. Thank you very much, Mr. Hyde. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Now listen again. Browns Builders, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to speak to Miss Dixon, please. I'm afraid she's not in the office at the moment. Can you give her a message for me? Yes, certainly. Who's calling, please? My name is Hyde. How do you spell that, please? That's H Y D E. Right, Mr. Hyde. Could you tell her that the time of the meeting has changed? Is that the meeting about the new houses? No, about the new factory. I see. And when is it? It's on Wednesday, at half past eleven. Does Miss Dixon know where the meeting is? I think so. It's in our main office. Ask her to go to room twenty-one. Right. I'll tell her. And could you ask her to bring the photographs with her? Which photos do you mean? She'll know which ones. They're very important. Don't worry. I'll tell her. Thank you very much, Mr. Hyde. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a man talking about a day trip. Listen, and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. Ladies and gentlemen. Here's some information about our trip to Loch Ness tomorrow. It's a long journey, about three hours each way, so we have to start early. That means we'll have breakfast at half past seven. Don't be late, please, as the bus has to leave at half past eight. When you finish breakfast, go to the car park. That's where we'll get on the bus. That's the big car park behind the hotel. Remember to bring your pink tickets for lunch. We'll have lunch at a restaurant near Loch Ness, and you must have your pink ticket, or you won't get any lunch. If you haven't got a pink ticket yet, you can get one from the office. Oh, one more thing. I know it's summer. But it can get quite cold in the mountains, even in July. So bring a jacket with you. You'll need one in the evening. All right. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Now listen again. Ladies and gentlemen, here's some information about our trip to Loch Ness tomorrow. It's a long journey, about three hours each way, so we have to start early. That means we'll have breakfast at half past seven. Don't be late, please, as the bus has to leave at half past eight. When you finish breakfast, go to the car park. That's where we'll get on the bus. That's the big car park behind the hotel. Remember to bring your pink tickets for lunch. We'll have lunch at a restaurant near Loch Ness, and you must have your pink ticket, or you won't get any lunch. If you haven't got a pink ticket yet, you can get one from the office. Oh, one more thing. I know it's summer, but it can get quite cold in the mountains, even in July. So bring a jacket with you. You'll need one in the evening. All right. I'll see you tomorrow morning. This is the end of part five. 
You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, stop the tape here and time eight minutes. This is the end of the test. This is the key English test, paper two, listening. Test number two. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. The questions one to five put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we're ready to start. Look at question one. One. How will Mary travel to Scotland? Are you taking the train to Scotland tomorrow, Mary? No, I'm driving there. It's cheaper. Why don't you go by coach? Oh no, it takes seven hours. Now listen again. Are you taking the train to Scotland tomorrow, Mary? No, I'm driving there. It's cheaper. Why don't you go by coach? Oh no, it takes seven hours. Two. Where are the shoes? Mum, have you seen my brown shoes? Yes, they're under the table. No, they're not. I left them on the chair this morning, but they're not there now. There they are, under the window. Now listen again. Mum. Have you seen my brown shoes? Yes, they're under the table. No, they're not. I left them on the chair this morning, but they're not there now. There they are, under the window. Three. When will the football match start next week? Does the football match start at quarter past twelve every week? No, it was early this week. It usually begins at two o'clock. So it'll be the usual time next week. Yes. Now listen again. Does the football match start at quarter past twelve every week? No, it was early this week. It usually begins at two o'clock. So it'll be the usual time next week. Yes. Four. Which box of chocolates do they buy? Which box of chocolates shall we get Mum for her birthday? Those round boxes with the flowers on are nice. Yes, but that square box is cheaper. But it's Mum's birthday. Let's get the big round one. We've got enough money. Okay. Now listen again. Which box of chocolate shall we get Mum for her birthday? Those round boxes with the flowers on are nice. Yes, but that square box is cheaper. But it's Mum's birthday. 
Let's get the big round one. We've got enough money. Okay. Five. When's Wendy's birthday? Wendy, you're twenty-one on Saturday, aren't you? No, my birthday's on May the eighteenth. Well, Saturday is the eighteenth. No, it's not. It's the sixteenth. Now listen again. Wendy. You're twenty-one on Saturday, aren't you? No, my birthday's on May the eighteenth. Well, Saturday is the eighteenth. No, it's not. It's the sixteenth. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Pete talking to a friend about his holiday. What was the weather like each day? The question six to ten. Write a letter, A to H, next to each day. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Pete. You're looking well. Yes, I've just been on holiday in the mountains for a week. You must have had good weather. Well, not really. When I arrived on the Monday, it was very cold. It can be cold in the mountains at this time of the year. Yes, it wasn't very nice, really. Then on Tuesday, it was so windy. I just stayed in the hotel all day. <sighs> Did the weather get better? Well, Wednesday was a bit better. There wasn't any wind, and it was sunny most of the day. So, did you do a lot of walking? No. By Thursday, it was very cloudy, and it looked as if it was going to snow. <laughs> and did it? No, but on Friday it rained a lot. And what about your last day? Well, the weather was getting better, and it was quite warm then, but it was a bit too late. Now listen again. Hi, Pete. You're looking well. Yes, I've just been on holiday in the mountains for a week. You must have had good weather. Well, not really. When I arrived on the Monday, it was very cold. It can be cold in the mountains at this time of the year. Yes, it wasn't very nice, really. Then on Tuesday, it was so windy. I just stayed in the hotel all day. <sighs> Did the weather get better? Well, Wednesday was a bit better. There wasn't any wind, and it was sunny most of the day. So, did you do a lot of walking? No. By Thursday, it was very cloudy, and it looked as if it was going to snow. <laughs> and did it? No. But on Friday, it rained a lot. And what about your last day? Well, the weather was getting better, and it was quite warm then. But it was a bit too late. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Michael talking to Marina about a new sports centre. The questions eleven to fifteen tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, Marina. Have you been to the new sports centre yet? No, Michael. Where is it? 
in Long Road, you know, near Bridge Street, behind the station. Oh, is it good? Yes, it's great. You can do a lot of sports. I played table tennis and volleyball last week. What about tennis? Not yet. They're going to build some tennis courts next year. Is it expensive? Not really, Marina. It's fifty pounds a year if you're fifteen to eighteen, and thirty pounds if you're under fifteen. Oh, that's good because I'm still fourteen. And on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, it stays open late, till ten o'clock. Oh, great! How did you get there? I got the number sixteen bus. It's only ten minutes from the bus station. Do you want to go next week? Okay. Any day except Thursday. Well, why don't we go on Friday? Then we can stay late. Yes, okay. Let's meet after school. Now listen again. Hello, Marina. Have you been to the new sports centre yet? No, Michael. Where is it? In Long Road. You know, near Bridge Street. Behind the station. Oh, is it good? Yes, it's great. You can do a lot of sports. I played table tennis and volleyball last week. What about tennis? Not yet. They're going to build some tennis courts next year. Is it expensive? Not really, Marina. It's fifty pounds a year if you're fifteen to eighteen, and thirty pounds if you're under fifteen. Oh, that's good because I'm still fourteen. And on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, it stays open late, till ten o'clock. Oh, great! How did you get there? I got the number sixteen bus. It's only ten minutes from the bus station. Do you want to go next week? Okay. Any day except Thursday. Well, why don't we go on Friday? Then we can stay late. Yes. Okay. Let's meet after school. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a conversation about a flat for rent. Listen and complete question sixteen to twenty. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, Lawn Flats Agency. Can I help you? Oh yes, my name's Mark Jones. I'm phoning about the flat for rent in Putney. I saw the advertisement in the paper. In Putney. Well, yes, Mr. Jones. That one's got two bedrooms. Are they double bedrooms? One double and one single. Okay. And how much is the rent? Well, it's four hundred and forty pounds a month. I see. And where exactly is it? It's number twenty-seven Earsley Street. Oh, how do you spell that? Earsley. It's E A R S L E Y. It's near the train station. And what floor is it on? It's a second-floor flat. Has it got any furniture? Yes, it's got some nice modern furniture. Well. It sounds interesting. I'd like to see it, please. Can you come tomorrow? Tomorrow, that's Tuesday. Mhm.、Mm、well, only after five o'clock. How about half past five? Yes, that's fine. Oh, one thing I nearly forgot. When will the flat be free to rent? From the first of March. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Now listen again. Hello, Lawn Flats Agency. Can I help you? Oh yes, my name's Mark Jones. I'm phoning about the flat for rent in Putney. 
I saw the advertisement in the paper. In Putney. Well, yes, Mr. Jones, that one's got two bedrooms. Are they double bedrooms? One double and one single. Okay. And how much is the rent? Well, it's four hundred and forty pounds a month. I see. And where exactly is it? It's number twenty-seven, Earsley Street. Oh, how do you spell that? Earsley. It's E A R S L E Y. It's near the train station. And what floor is it on? It's a second floor flat. Has it got any furniture? Yes, it's got some nice modern furniture. Well, it sounds interesting. I'd like to see it, please. Can you come tomorrow? Tomorrow, that's Tuesday. Mhm.、Mm、well, only after five o'clock. How about half past five? Yes, that's fine. Oh, one thing I nearly forgot. When will the flat be free to rent? From the first of March. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a tour guide talking about a day trip. Listen and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. Hello, everyone. I just want to tell you about our trip to the town of Chester. The coach will leave at nine fifteen tomorrow morning. It takes about an hour and a half to get to Chester, so we will arrive at a quarter to eleven. You will have time for a cup of coffee before our first visit. This will be to the castle. It is a very interesting old building, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the visit. Tickets for the castle cost three pounds fifty for adults. And if you have children, a family ticket is just eight pounds. There are lots of things to see, and we will be there about two hours. We will take sandwiches for lunch with us, and we will all eat together in a park. You will be pleased to know that tomorrow is going to be sunny. Oh, that's very good. Anyway, after lunch we will walk around the old market. You will be able to buy all your presents there. Now, any questions? Now listen again. Hello, everyone. I just want to tell you about our trip to the town of Chester. The coach will leave at nine fifteen tomorrow morning. It takes about an hour and a half to get to Chester, so we will arrive at a quarter to eleven. You will have time for a cup of coffee before our first visit. This will be to the castle. It is a very interesting old building, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the visit. Tickets for the castle cost three pounds fifty for adults, and if you have children, a family ticket is just. Eight pounds. There are lots of things to see, and we will be there about two hours. We will take sandwiches for lunch with us, and we will all eat together in a park. You will be pleased to know that tomorrow is going to be sunny. Oh, that's very good. Anyway, after lunch we will walk round the old market. You will be able to buy all your presents there. Now. Any questions? This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, 
Stop the tape here and time eight minutes. This is the end of the test. This is the key English test. Paper two, listening. Test number three. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. When's the school trip? Are you going to go on the school trip, Maria? Yes, I am. It's on Wednesday, isn't it? No, on Thursday. The bus leaves at eleven o'clock. The answer is Thursday, so there is a tick in box C. Now we're ready to start. Look at question one. One. Where's the sports centre? Excuse me, is the sports centre near here? Yes, it's about ten minutes walk. Go past the bank, and take the second road on the left. It's on the corner. Thanks very much. Now listen again. Excuse me, is the sports centre near here? Yes, it's about ten minutes walk. Go past the bank, and take the second road on the left. It's on the corner. Thanks very much. Two. How much petrol does the woman want? Could you put thirty liters of petrol in my car, please? Uh, did you say thirteen liters? No, thirty liters. Fill it up, please. Now listen again. Could you put thirty liters of petrol in my car, please? Uh, did you say thirteen liters? No, thirty liters. Fill it up, please. Three. Which table do they buy? Look, this round table is very nice. Yes, but it's made of plastic. It's only got three legs. Do you want one with four legs? Yes. Look, here's a square one. Let's have this. Okay. Now listen again. Look, this round table is very nice. Yes, but it's made of plastic. It's only got three legs. Do you want one with four legs? Yes. Look, here's a square one. Let's have this. Okay. Four. What time does the class start? Are you going to the English class this afternoon, Susan? Yes, it's at three o'clock, isn't it? Two o'clock. I've got to go to the dentist's at half past two, so I can't go. Don't worry, I'll get the homework for you. Now listen again. Are you going to the English class this afternoon, Susan? Yes, it's at three o'clock, isn't it? Two o'clock. I've got to go to the dentist's at half past two, so I can't go. Don't worry, I'll get the homework for you. Five. 
five. What was the weather like on Emma's holiday? Did you enjoy your holiday in Australia, Emma? Yes, but it was wet most of the time. Really? Isn't it always hot in Australia? Hmm, not when I was there. Now listen again. Did you enjoy your holiday in Australia, Emma? Yes, but it was wet most of the time. Really? Isn't it always hot in Australia? Hmm, not when I was there. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Jane talking to a friend about some clothes that she has bought for her holiday. What colours are her clothes? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each of her clothes. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Jane. Have you been shopping? Yes, I've bought some clothes, but I think I've got too many different colours. Well, that's a nice white shirt. You can wear that with any colour. Yes, I bought it in the same shop as this dress. Let me see. Oh yes, what a lovely green! And have you bought a jacket to go with it? Yes, it was difficult to find one. But I finally got this dark brown one. Oh yes, that's very nice. Did you buy anything else? Well, I need a new sweater. I always wear this red one, and it's so old now. So I bought this one. Hmm, orange. That's an unusual colour. Yes, I also bought a coat and some shoes. You have been busy. Yes. The coat was a bit expensive. Do you like it? Oh yes, you look good in black, and those new black shoes look great with the coat. Well, actually, they're dark blue, not black. Now listen again. Hi, Jane. Have you been shopping? Yes, I've bought some clothes. But I think I've got too many different colours. Well, that's a nice white shirt. You can wear that with any colour. Yes, I bought it in the same shop as this dress. Let me see. Oh yes, what a lovely green! And have you bought a jacket to go with it? Yes, it was difficult to find one, but I finally got this dark brown one. Oh yes, that's very nice. Did you buy anything else? Well, I need a new sweater. I always wear this red one, and it's so old now. So I bought this one. Hmm, orange. That's an unusual colour. Yes, I also bought a coat and some shoes. You have been busy. Yes, the coat was a bit expensive. Do you like it? Oh yes, you look good in black. And those new black shoes look great with the coat. Well, actually, they're dark blue, not black. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Mrs. Lee talking to her secretary about her business trip. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds.
Now listen to the conversation. So tell me about my trip to Europe. Will I leave on Saturday or Sunday? I've booked your ticket for Saturday, Mrs. Lee. Let me see. That's the eleventh, and your plane leaves at ten a.m. So I'll get to the airport at about eight. Yes, and you'll arrive in London at eleven fifty. You won't stop in Frankfurt this time. Mr. Porter from our Amsterdam office will arrive at about the same time, so you can go together to your meeting at the factory. No time to go to the hotel, I'm afraid. Okay, and after the meeting, you'll have the afternoon free. Then in the evening, you'll meet Jane and Peter Cook. Is that at their home? Not this time. You're going to meet in a Japanese restaurant near your hotel. Then the next morning, you'll go to Paris on the train. Yes, that's better than flying again. Now listen again. So tell me about my trip to Europe. Will I leave on Saturday or Sunday? I've booked your ticket for Saturday, Mrs. Lee. Let me see. That's the eleventh, and your plane leaves at ten a.m. So I'll get to the airport at about eight. Yes, and you'll arrive in London at eleven fifty. You won't stop in Frankfurt this time. Mr. Porter from our Amsterdam office will arrive at about the same time, so you can go together to your meeting at the factory. No time to go to the hotel, I'm afraid. Okay, and after the meeting, you'll have the afternoon free. Then in the evening, you'll meet Jane and Peter Cook. Is that at their home? Not this time. You're going to meet in a Japanese restaurant near your hotel. Then the next morning. You'll go to Paris on the train. Yes, that's better than flying again. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. Listen to a man asking for some information about a language school. Listen, and complete questions sixteen to twenty. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, School of Italian Studies. Hello, I saw your advertisement in the newspaper. Can you give me some information, please? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Well, first, how long are the courses? They're six or nine months long, and the next courses begin next Monday. How many students will there be in the class? Not too many, I hope. Usually, there are about fifteen. We find that a good number. Okay. Now, I saw the price of the course in the newspaper. But will I have to pay for anything else? Only for the course book, which costs twelve pounds ninety-nine. I see. When can I come and pay? Well, the school is open eight a.m. to seven p.m. Monday to Friday, and on Saturdays from nine to one. Okay. And one more question: What's the nearest underground station to your school? It's Green Park. Green Park. I see. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now listen again. Hello, School of Italian Studies. Hello, I saw your advertisement in the newspaper. Can you give me some information, please? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Well, first. How long are the courses? They're six or nine months long, and the next courses begin next Monday. How many students will there be in the class? Not too many, I hope. Usually there are about fifteen. We find that a good number. Okay. 
Now, I saw the price of the course in the newspaper, but will I have to pay for anything else? Only for the course book, which costs twelve pounds ninety-nine. I see. When can I come and pay? Well, the school is open eight a.m. to seven p.m. Monday to Friday, and on Saturdays from nine to one. Okay. And one more question: What's the nearest underground station to your school? It's Green Park. Green Park. I see. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a man talking about a day trip. Listen and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. Hello, everybody. Hello. Tomorrow we're all going on a coach trip to Lake Tandy, and I'd just like to give you some information about the trip. We'll be leaving here at nine thirty in the morning. It's a seven-hour trip, so we'll be back at half past four. We're going to visit three places. The first one is a castle. This was built six hundred years ago, and it is very interesting. After that, we will stop at a cafe for lunch at one o'clock. We'll stay there about three quarters of an hour. We will then drive on to our third stop. It will be at a beach, and if you like, you can swim there or just sit in the sun and look at the scenery. The lake is very beautiful, and there are lots of birds there. So remember to take a camera. I'm sure you'll be able to take some excellent photographs.、Mm. Now listen again. Hello, everybody. Hello. Tomorrow we're all going on a coach trip to Lake Tandy, and I'd just like to give you some information about the trip. We'll be leaving here at nine thirty in the morning. It's a seven-hour trip, so we'll be back at half past four. We're going to visit three places. The first one is a castle. This was built six hundred years ago, and it is very interesting. After that, we will stop at a cafe for lunch at one o'clock. We'll stay there about three quarters of an hour. We will then drive on to our third stop. It will be at a beach, and if you like, you can swim there or just sit in the sun and look at the scenery. The lake is very beautiful, and there are lots of birds there. So remember to take a camera. I'm sure you'll be able to take some excellent photographs. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, stop the tape here and time eight minutes. This is the end of the test. This is the key English test, paper two, listening, test number four. There are five parts to the test, parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question 
for each conversation. The questions one to five put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. What time is it? Excuse me, can you tell me the time? Yes, it's nine o'clock. Thank you. You're welcome. The answer is nine o'clock, so there is a tick in box C. Now we're ready to start. Look at question one. One. What was the weather like on Wednesday? What was the weather like when you were on holiday? Fine. It was sunny every day until Wednesday. Really? What happened then? Well, it was sunny in the morning, but it rained in the afternoon. Now listen again. What was the weather like when you were on holiday? Fine. It was sunny every day until Wednesday. Really? What happened then? Well, it was sunny in the morning, but it rained in the afternoon. Two. How much did Mark's pullover cost? That's a nice pullover, Mark. Was it expensive? Hmm, fourteen pounds ninety-nine. Oh, that's not bad. No, and I do like blue. Now listen again. That's a nice pullover, Mark. Was it expensive? Hmm, fourteen pounds ninety-nine. Oh, that's not bad. No, and I do like blue. Three. What did Raquel buy today? Hi, Raquel. You're looking well. New skirt. Thanks, Tina. No, I've had this skirt for a long time. I bought these boots this morning. Do you like them? Yes, very nice. They look good with that jacket. Now listen again. Hi, Raquel. You're looking well. New skirt. Thanks, Tina. No, I've had this skirt for a long time. I bought these boots this morning. Do you like them? Yes, very nice. They look good with that jacket. Four. How many students are there at the college? How many students are there at your college? Oh, there's lots. It's quite a big college. More than three hundred? Oh yes, more than twice that. About seven hundred and fifty, I think. Now listen again. How many students are there at your college? Oh, there's lots. It's quite a big college. More than three hundred? Oh yes, more than twice that. About seven hundred and fifty, I think. Five. What is David going to buy? Hi, David. What are you looking for? I don't know what to buy for Rachel's birthday. Well, I've bought her a CD, so why don't you get her a book? Yes, that's a good idea. I will. Now listen again. Hi, David. What are you looking for? I don't know what to buy for Rachel's birthday. Well, I've bought her a CD, so why don't you get her a book? Yes, that's a good idea. I will.
This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Philip talking to his mother about his son Simon. What is Simon going to do on Saturday and Sunday? For question six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each time of day. You will hear the conversation twice. Well, Mum, thanks for having Simon to stay for a couple of days. That's okay, Philip. What have I got to do? Well, Saturday's busy. In the morning, he's got his judo class. Right. And in the afternoon, he's going to a birthday party, isn't he? No, that's in the evening. He's going to the football match in the afternoon. Remember? Oh yes, I remember now. So, what time does the party start? At half past seven, but Mrs. Carter will bring him home. Fine. Now on Sunday morning we can go to the swimming pool on our bikes. <sighs> well, he's got a cold, so swimming isn't a very good idea. But he'd like a bicycle ride. Okay. Your father wants to take Simon to the park in the afternoon. Fine, and then. A quiet evening watching TV. What about a trip to the cinema? No, I think he'll be too tired for that. Okay. Now listen again. Well, Mum, thanks for having Simon to stay for a couple of days. That's okay, Philip. What have I got to do? Well, Saturday's busy. In the morning, he's got his judo class. Right, and in the afternoon, he's going to a birthday party, isn't he? No, that's in the evening. He's going to the football match in the afternoon. Remember? Oh yes, I remember now. So, what time does the party start? At half past seven. But Mrs. Carter will bring him home. Fine. Now on Sunday morning. We can go to the swimming pool on our bikes. <sighs> well, he's got a cold, so swimming isn't a very good idea. But he'd like a bicycle ride. Okay. Your father wants to take Simon to the park in the afternoon. Fine. And then a quiet evening watching TV. What about a trip to the cinema? No, I think he'll be too tired for that. Okay. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Chloe talking to a man about a sailing holiday. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to go on a sailing holiday this summer in Italy. Have you been sailing before? No, I wanted to go to Sweden last year, but I didn't have enough money. Well, it is quite expensive. Sailing holidays start at about three hundred pounds. Yes, my friends went in August last year. They paid four hundred and fifty pounds each. The most I can pay is three hundred and eighty pounds. Well, that should be enough. When's the cheapest time to go? Well, August is the most expensive month. 
September and October are cheaper. Hmm. October's too late for me, so I'll go in September. Would you like to be by the sea or a lake? Well, I'd prefer a lake in the mountains. Okay. The Aqua Centre in North Italy will be best for you. That costs three hundred and seventy pounds. Okay. Um, can I pay by credit card? I haven't got my checkbook. Yes, that's fine. Now listen again. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to go on a sailing holiday this summer in Italy. Have you been sailing before? No, I wanted to go to Sweden last year, but I didn't have enough money. Well, it is quite expensive. Sailing holidays start at about three hundred pounds. Yes, my friends went in August last year. They paid four hundred and fifty pounds each. The most I can pay is three hundred and eighty pounds. Well, that should be enough. When's the cheapest time to go? Well, August is the most expensive month. September and October are cheaper. Hmm. October's too late for me, so I'll go in September. Would you like to be by the sea or a lake? Well, I'd prefer a lake in the mountains. Okay. The Aqua Centre in North Italy will be best for you. That costs three hundred and seventy pounds. Okay. Um, can I pay by credit card? I haven't got my checkbook. Yes, that's fine. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear Kate and Jeremy talking about a party. Listen, and complete questions sixteen to twenty. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello. Hi, Jeremy. It's Kate. I'm going to have a party next week. Would you like to come to it? A party? That's great. What's it for? It's my birthday on Wednesday. I'm going to be seventeen. Oh dear! I can't come on Wednesday. No, my birthday's Wednesday, but the party's on Friday. Oh, that's okay. What time will it begin? At eight thirty. Right. That should be no problem. It's going to be at the London Hotel. Do you know where that is? Let me think. The London Hotel. No, I don't. Well, it's near the town centre on Shindy Street. Could you spell that for me? Yeah, sure. It's S H I N D Y, Shindy Street. Okay, I can find that. I've got a map. Can I bring anything? Well, I need a lot of pencils for a game we're going to play. Okay, I'll bring some pencils. Thanks. See you there. Now listen again. Hello. Hi, Jeremy. It's Kate. I'm going to have a party next week. Would you like to come to it? A party? That's great. What's it for? It's my birthday on Wednesday. I'm going to be seventeen. Oh dear! I can't come on Wednesday. No, my birthday's Wednesday, but the party's on Friday. Oh, that's okay. What time will it begin? At eight thirty. Right. That should be no problem. It's going to be at the London Hotel. Do you know where that is? 
Let me think. The London Hotel. No, I don't. Well, it's near the town centre on Shindy Street. Could you spell that for me? Yeah, sure. It's S H I N D Y. Shindy Street. Okay, I can find that. I've got a map. Can I bring anything? Well, I need a lot of pencils for a game we're going to play. Okay, I'll bring some pencils. Thanks. See you there. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a cinema. Listen, and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. Thank you for calling the North London Art Cinema, Wood Green. There is no one to answer your call at the moment. The North London Art Cinema is open seven days a week, showing a variety of British and foreign films. Next week, we will show an Italian film called Midnight Meeting. It is set in Milan. In the 1950s, you can see that film from Monday to Thursday. It will be on twice a day in the evenings. That's at 6:45 and 9:15. The film lasts two hours and 15 minutes. Tickets are four pounds. But there is a special student ticket at two pounds eighty for all our midweek films. Please bring your student card if you want the cheaper ticket. The nearest car park to the cinema is in Hoxton Street. That's H A U X T O N. It's just five minutes' walk from the cinema. Thank you for calling the North London Art Cinema. If you require further information, phone during office hours, 9 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. Monday to Friday. Now listen again. Thank you for calling the North London Art Cinema, Wood Green. There is no one to answer your call at the moment. The North London Art Cinema is open seven days a week, showing a variety of British and foreign films. Next week, we will show an Italian film called Midnight Meeting. It is set in Milan. In the 1950s, you can see that film from Monday to Thursday. It will be on twice a day in the evenings. That's at 6:45 and 9:15. The film lasts two hours and 15 minutes. Tickets are four pounds. But there is a special student ticket at two pounds eighty for all our midweek films. Please bring your student card if you want the cheaper ticket. The nearest car park to the cinema is in Hoxton Street. That's H A U X T O N. It's just five minutes' walk from the cinema. Thank you for calling the North London Art Cinema. 
If you require further information, phone during office hours, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Monday to Friday. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, stop the tape here and time eight minutes. This is the end of the test.